All right, so let's hop into uh, today's uh, training. Um, we're going to talk about optimize and automate, okay? Um, and what we're talking about is predictable business, uh, predictable business uh, behavior and, uh, you know, life cycle navigation, okay? Um, that's very, very important. All right, so uh, from here, we're back on the same Trinity of Success model. We're going to talk about the B which is uh, the harsh optimizer, the no, which is how to automate all aspects of your business, and the do, which is efficiency, okay? So kind of hopping right in here to being the harsh optimizer. Nobody is gonna optimize your business better than you will, okay? It's very important that you spend a significant amount of time ensuring that all aspects, whether it's process, procedure, uh, whether it's systems, uh, whether it's how you have certain actions done, they are all, uh, you know, optimized to their very best ability, okay? Optimization uh, coupled with automation creates efficiency, okay? So there's a method to this madness, okay? Um, so how do we really, really optimize uh, for the best benefit, okay? Um, we're talking mostly through this entire process about profit generating activities, okay? Because there's a lot of things that are not profit generating activities that would fit into optimization. But we, what we want to really focus on is what creates profit in the business itself, okay? That's what's most important. The world's changing, the market's changing uh, constantly, so we have to make sure that the things we are doing are more focused to profit generating activities and profit generating activities only, okay? How can you properly do this? Keep customer info up to date, okay? You have to have a CRM to do that, okay? Um, that's very important. Keeping notes in the CRM, your sales team's updating things, so on and so forth, inside of your CRM. So you have your finger on the pulse. You can download reports very quickly. So you can know what buying trends are. You can understand what market shifts are happening. Okay. Very, very important. Okay. Large companies know this to the finite detail. They know why a client makes a purchase and they know what shifts in the market are happening to either, uh, that, that either creates it creates a, decrease in sales volume or an increase in sales volume okay so it's important that you know just some very simple some simple key things so keep this information up to date and you have a dashboard you can log into and know some of these metrics and some of these trends okay so reviews optimize your marketing with reviews i will tell you right now the best person that I know in the marketplace today that does this better than anybody I've ever seen is consulting.com. But if you go to consulting.com, go there, absolutely go there, because I will tell you that is what right looks like when it comes to social proof, when it comes to Sam Ovens, that's his name. Um, when it comes to social proof, when it comes to, um, testimonials, when it comes to all those things, he truly has it right. And these aren't just testimonials. He has like 3,000 case studies. It's amazing. And they're all real case studies. They're not BS. Um, so, you know, these reviews or uh, testimonials, case studies, things like that, not all of you probably need case studies, but re reviews, you know, can be very critical. They can be very good, you know, to, to your business. And you promote that in your company. Go to your client base and say, hey, will you write me a review? That way you can use that in your marketing, okay? Um, there again, uh, you know, that's that social proof model, right? It's huge. Uh, it, it increases buyer confidence, Amazon, why do you think they do that the way they do with the ratings? So, so you know uh, the, the good from the bad. It's the same with Angie's List, all these great places, right? They all have that model in place. 
um, to make sure the customer experience is the best that it can possibly be. So more, more reviews equals more sales. It just goes without saying. On your website, you have a spot on your website, uh, whether it's a, a, one of those scrolling type things on your website that, that has a, a little customer review, doesn't need to be a lot. It's very simple, no matter what, to go to a customer, no matter what product you're selling, and say, hey, you know, what did you think of the product? Get the good review, all right? Put a disclaimer in your terms and conditions that says you accept uh, under terms and conditions that we can use any testimonial on any platform, okay? That's what covers you. Um, and then also make sure you're, you know, you have all that stuff on your website. Uh, very, very important. Get those, even if they're just single bullet, one-liner comments, okay? These will help you optimize sales, 100%, okay? Now, another huge failure, but there again, we're talking profit generating activities, right? Another huge failure is direct to your customers, okay? That can be via calls, social media, email. Uh, the most common is email follow-up. That is the most, I, I would say, most used as far as content goes is email follow-up. If you do this email follow-up, don't just make it about sales, okay? Make it about good, uh, good content mixed in with sales, okay? I've seen tons of marketing departments just do this horribly wrong because that's all they do, sell, 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 sell. It has to be, you know, value, sell, value, 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 sell, okay? That's what people want. People want value. They want to get to know your brand. Okay, people buy you and your brand. Because let's face it, there's a thousand places that sell clothing. What makes you special? What makes you that value proposition, which we talked about last time, that makes them ignore everybody else, but you've piled on value on top of it, okay? No, no matter what that value is, okay? And uh, whatever that is, in your industry that you service, you, you have to figure out what that looks like. If you're struggling for content, okay, for email content, I'm gonna give everybody a website. It is plrplr.com. 100% license-free rights. Okay, so it's plrplr.com that there are there are so many different uh, categories on that website um, that service pretty much every industry, okay? So if you need content for email, social media posts, um, you know, uh, uh, all these different places, right? Even YouTube for YouTube videos, whatever, tons of different places. For Terry's team, give them content for them to use in your ad, so on and so forth, okay? The point is, the biggest struggle is, well, what, what do I email, right? That's always one of the huge struggles. What do I put out in email, okay? That, there's an, a completely free option that's license-free. PLR stands for private label rights, and you can use that content, which is probably been used a gazillion times by now, but it doesn't really matter. The point isn't to copy and paste content. The point is to copy it, paste it to a document, and write it in your voice, in your own words. Because we struggle with what? We struggle with the idea, okay? There's lots of places to get the idea. Take the idea, rewrite it, repackage it, push it out, okay? Um, and email is a great way to do that. Now, social media, some of you run Facebook Lives in your companies. Um, some have sales teams that do calls and reach outs to um, the client, so on, so forth. Okay. Um, this is a huge thing. Why? This builds customer confidence. Okay. That's what it does. Trust. Three words. No, like, trust. Okay. In that order. That's how we get people to buy. Okay. They get to know us. They get to like us. And then they trust us. And then they pull out their card and they buy, 
Okay, very basic principle of marketing. Okay, right there. So if you take anything away from this uh, from this part, it's that. Okay. Okay, so um, to value, okay? Social posts, a lot of people use Facebook, a lot of people use YouTube, a lot of people use different platforms to project their product, service, whatever it is, you know, put out value-based posts, okay? That's huge, right? Value-based posts, not garbage, okay? Not just, Oh, hey, just checking in with everybody. Hey, check out my latest product. No. Add some value and say, it's more of a, oh, by the way, we just did a brand new product release yesterday, and we'd love you to check it out and give us your feedback. That's how you create a client, a customer, okay? Not just, hey, we just uh, released a new product. Um, we have it at a discount price right now. We'd be glad to sell it to you. That's a mistake. You're saying the same thing, you're just rewording it in a different way, okay? All right, so value, value, value. Okay, trends, track trends. Um, a couple tools. I like to, uh, one tool I like to really kind of check in, in on is, I think it's called eBay Trends. You can go to eBay Trends, it's something like that, it's been a while since I, I looked at it, but you can go to eBay Trends and you can see what people are buying today. Okay, I know it's eBay, but don't, uh, don't discount eBay by any means. Okay, eBay is a huge platform. It has changed dramatically over the last, uh, you know, uh, three to five years. And uh, you can get some trends of what people are buying from that platform, okay? It's a, a great tool. So what people are buying, and then when and how they're buying, okay? So when being at what part of the buyer experience through your process are people pulling out their card and paying? Very important. Is it uh, email number 13 where you have a huge conversion rate? Is it uh, email 10? Is it the social media? Is it a, a, a sales team on call six follow-up? I, I don't know. You need to figure that out for you. The win. Why? Because then you can really optimize that process. Okay? Super, super important. Right? And then how are they buying? Are they buying are, – are they using PayPal? Are they using uh, a credit card through PayPal? Are they using some other form? You know, what, what does that look like? Okay, so, you know, know, know these trends, know these numbers, uh, know the market shifts, okay? Pay attention to what's going on in your niche because a lot of people just go day to day just blinder in the bat thinking, you know, all right, I'm going to just make some sales today. Well, probably not. Every successful company has a process a successful process that they're putting every client through. The upside to that, in the e-commerce space, right, the, the process is kind of static. It's a little bit static. Why? Because you market, you market to your market, the product, your avatar, right? And that can all be controlled separately by somebody else. You're outsourcing that. So you're outsourcing that part, and now that brings you either lead base or buyers, customers. Now it's up to you to take that customer once and make it a 20x client, 20x customer. That's another fail right there for most companies. They get one buy and they're like, woohoo, great. You already got that customer. Turn them into a customer for life, okay? Um, that's the easiest, that's the easiest customer to have. Okay. So the how, right? 